Sometimes when you write up if statements, the formula is so complicated that you can't understand it, although you've written it. There isn't a way to understand formula in an easier way, and that is to name cells. All I need to do is to highlight that and that, and then go to Insert, Name, and Create. This says, this cell, the left cell, will be named by this cell, Standard Hours. And now, what you see is that when I click onto there, up here, it says Standard Hours. OK, I can do the whole lot in one go by going to Insert, Name, and Create, and OKing that. Alright, now let's work out humidity 39 degrees, sorry, humidity, 39 hours, 27 hours, 15 hours. In this formula, if they work less than um, 37 hours, then they're going to be paid um, a full work week's work, a full week's wage. OK, I'm going to put that there go up to there and try for if. So I click into the function bar, click onto there and press I. There's if and you will have dealt with if statements before. There's if and the first thing to work out is the logical test. The logical test is if his hours of work are less than or equal to that, I click on there and it shows up here, standard hours, then what he gets paid is that times that. However, if that is not true, then what he gets is, first of all, the basic pay times the wage rate plus he gets an opening brackets his hours minus the standard hours so close brackets and I'm going to multiply that by the wage rate times the overtime rate. Now when I do all of that that's the result. I can now just drag that down and the last two ought to be the basic rate of pay. Now if I carry on with this and say OK, now what I need to do is to work out equals the basic pay times the national insurance. I press enter and that's working out at that. I can, of course, drag this down. Now tax on this equals that times the tax rate and press enter. Of course I can drag that down as well. So now we're saying that if we want the take-home pay of this person working 39 hours at the basic rate is 220 minus that minus that. Let's try that. If I put equals here, click onto there, minus that, minus that, it will give me that. And if I drag that down, 
There it gives me the take-home pay of these three people. If I click on to here, up here you can see the formula we used for that. And it's much e more easy, it's much easier to understand what was going on in the formula if you have used names. That was the point of my exercise. Thank you.